So now we're going to demonstrate the consequences of Alice falling victim to the spare phishing attack. So Alice is going to check her email, just like most people do, on a daily basis. So she's going to go to the email server. She's going to log in. Now Alice usually checks her monthly statement through her email, and she notices that it's about that time, and she has received a monthly statement. Now in the subject line, it's the same exact subject line that she normally receives, and then over here, it looks like it's coming from a trusted source. So now she's going to proceed to check her monthly statement. When she clicks on the message, she sees the body of the message, and again, it's identical to how she normally receives it. So she's going to proceed to the site, and now she's going to log in. Now, when she attempts to log in, she sees that the site is experiencing trouble. So she's going to try again later. So now when Alice fell victim to the spare phishing attack, her credentials got sent across the web over to Bob's collection server. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to verify that Bob did in fact collect those credentials. So we're going to open up a terminal and then we're going to cat the log file. So we're going to go cat and then it's going to be var www html and then log. And then inside of there, you're going to see that we collected Alice's credentials.